Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we are going to compare a traditional mint julep and a chinar julep. Which one of these is better? Let's find out. All right, let's get into this. I had two different requests by two different people to create two different juleps. So while I was thinking about this, a friend of mine, his name is Eddie, and he runs the Wired Owl Coffee Company down in downtown City Berry. He gave me this awesome little julep cup, which is perfect timing because the hamster wheel in the back of my head was saying, David, you should compare both of these juleps. And I said to myself, you know, self, why not? That's a great idea. Now, that duck requested a regular mint julep. And Josh Charette asked for a chinar julep. Now, I've never had chinar, so this is a perfect time to introduce myself to it, as well as those of you who may not have had it before. And this should turn This should turn into an interesting little comparison with two separate, totally different flavors. So let's get into it. The first thing, of course, I need is my shaking glass. And the original mint julep needs six to eight mint leaves, depending upon the size of your mint leaves. So we'll just grab one of these. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. These are little tiny leaves, so we'll just denude the entire branch here. Uh, it's about 10 small leaves. All right. We also need half an ounce of a simple syrup. Now, simple syrup, of course, is one to one, and that's uh, one part sugar, one part water. Heat it up until it kind of goes clear, let it cool off, then use it to your heart's content. So what we'll do is we will just muddle this. Now, Robert Duval says you should just rub it with your thumb into your palm. However, this is going to do the same thing, and this will allow the sugars to help pull some of those uh, essential oils out directly into this. So, next we need two ounces of a bourbon. And I'm using a bullet bourbon here. Uh, this is a 45% uh, ABV, which is a really good little bourbon that I like. Choose the bourbon that you prefer to work with. You could even go a little stronger again, depending on how strong you like it. Two ounces works out to 60 milliliters. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna shake this. Normally I'd shake, you could shake this with big ice, but I'm going to shake it with a little bit of crushed ice. And the crushed ice isn't really going to pulverize the leaf that badly. It'll add a little bit of dilution. If you pulverize the leaf too much, what happens is you will actually break the chlorophyll inside the mint leaves. And what'll happen is you'll get some of that bitterness coming out of the mint that you don't want. You just want the flavors and the scents and the essential oils coming out. Just enough. Shake it for about 10 seconds. Oops, I nearly lost it there. But that's okay, we'll use this, not a big deal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take out my mint julep cup, which is awesome. We're going to fill it about halfway with ice. And you don't wanna fill it all the way because you don't want it to overflow. And I'm just going to free pour this in here. And I want the original mint leaves in. Some people will strain those mint leaves out. However, I want all of that mint in there. So we'll just shake this and stir this a little bit. And what's going to happen is the cup is going to cool down and it will begin to frost up. So it looks good, it smells good so far. We're now going to fill this up like a snow cone with a little bit more crushed ice. And I'm struggling with getting my spoon to, my uh, uh, scoop to work for me. Looking pretty good so far. We'll just take these, throw those back into there. And now we need to garnish this. Now, you could use an optional uh, couple of dashes of Angostura bitters. However, I don't want to do that. I just want the actual drink itself. So we're going to take a little bit of a top of the mint leaf. Just cut this off. 
And what I want is just enough here to be able to stick up like so. And you know what? I'm gonna smack that first. Again, just to break the, uh, the edges to allow those essential oils out and to give us that mint scent. Look at that. And you know what? I'm not even gonna touch that right now. We're gonna let that frost up nice and cold. So we'll put these over here. Now we're going to make the Chinar one. Now the Chinar, uh, and I'm following the Chinar julep, and I've seen a couple of different recipes. I'm using the one directly off the bottle. So the first thing we need is half an ounce of lime juice. And when I learn how to use my uh, lime squeezer, I'll let you know. This also calls for one teaspoon of sugar. However, I'm going to use two sugar cubes, which works out to exactly one teaspoon. Looking pretty good. Now, the bottle also calls for two to three branches of mint. I'm not, I don't think I'm putting like two of these in there, but what I'll do is I'll strip one of these down again, and that should give us just enough mint to make this happen. And again, we should have about the same amount of mint leaves as that you would have. So six to eight solid good sized leaves of mint, or maybe 10 small mint leaves, just depending on your preference. Give it a smack, throw that in there like so. Now we need two ounces of chinar. Now chinar is uh, made from artichoke and it should have a slightly vegetal uh, taste to it. Smells good. We'll add two ounces, which again is 60 milliliters. Put that here. Again, we'll do the exact same thing. We'll add just a little bit of crushed ice. Just enough, just enough to shake, just enough to shake and chill it. And shake it again for another 10 seconds or so. And this has a different look already, I can tell. Now, the unfortunate thing is I only have one julep cup. So what I'm going to use is a rocks glass. So we'll fill this up halfway with ice. We'll free pour this in. Because I want the, all of that mint in there directly. Give this a good stir. And now we'll add some more ice to create another snow cone-like look. Because you know what? These drinks have to be nice, cold, tasty, beautiful. Look at that. You just can't go wrong. Look at those, oh yeah. And of course, I wanna garnish this with another piece of mint. Here we have two different types of julep. We have a mint julep and a chinar julep. And I've made a mess. Let's get this out of here. Let me know down below which one you think will be better. I know that the classic has been around from the 1770s and the chinar julep is a much newer cocktail. Let's try these out. And you know what? I need a sippy cylinder. So I'm gonna use a straw. I've got stainless steel straws. And what I'll do is I'll put a link down below uh, to see where you can get some of these as well as with the uh, julep cup. Mmm. Oh, a minty, mm, sweet, fiery bourbon. Oh yeah, oh yeah, mmm. Mm. You know, that's really good. I can see why it's been around for as long as it has. It's simple, it's easy, it's going to cool you off. Perfect for a hot summer's day. The julep, by the way, in case you didn't know, is the drink of the Kentucky Derby. Oh yeah, mm. And you know what? I gotta try the other one now too. 
Let's grab another sippy cylinder. This one's a little bit bigger. Oh, that's a, a different taste as well. It's got the mint. You don't get much of the, uh, the, the brown sugar in there or the, the sugar cubes, but there's a, a slight bitterness to the end of that, which is quite good as well. Let's just try again. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Yeah, you know what? If you really want to You know what, these are both really, really good. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me tell know which one is your favorite. You know, these are both good in two separate ways. Uh, I really like bourbon. And a sweet minty bourbon, oh yeah. But this, this one has that bitterness. Uh, there's no eggplant taste to it. And I'm not a fan of eggplant, so let's get that out there now. Uh, this is good. Looks good too. You know what? I need, well, ah, what am I going to say here? I can't decide. I think I like this one better. Only because of the bourbon. I'm a huge fan of bourbon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients for both of these juleps and their methods of how to make them down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification. And you know what? Give me a thumbs up for two awesome cocktails, and we'll see you next time. All right, so let's get into this. I received two individual requests for do different types.